Oh wow, braces. What's going on guys? It's your boy Nelson right here. Um, just trying to... <laughs> Lots of noise. Uh, I'm just trying something new out here in my balcony. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe uh, because that way I can keep on doing more videos like this. Uh, yeah, so today the topic is how many languages should you know as a software engineer, especially when you are starting your career. So I get a lot of people asking me, you know, these questions, how many languages should I know? How many frameworks should I know? Um, and the reason they ask me these questions is because they, they want to be ready so that when they actually start applying for jobs, they can list on their CVs the number of languages that they know. Now, in my in my view right you shouldn't really uh, be focusing a lot on on learning as many languages out there right so if i also tell you that you only need one language to learn all of the languages right would you believe me well i think that you should actually believe me right so let me just prove to you right so when it comes to a language make sure that you pick a language that will teach you a bunch of concepts oh boy so yeah so make sure that you pick a language that will teach you a bunch of concepts so concepts such as inheritance OOP polymorphism types uh, how to um, uh, make sure to use abstraction correctly uh, yeah, so basically a language that has many features, right? Because those languages, uh, and you, you probably might, might be already start thinking like, oh, you, you say, for example, C++ or Java or, or C Sharp. And yes, right, I'm, I'm, I'm saying learn one of those languages because those languages, they teach you the foundations of programming. And once you learn those languages properly, right? So when I mean properly, I mean you can pick a language. And for example, if I was to give you uh, an assignment or at work, if for example, they were to tell you to implement this feature, you could go ahead and implement the actual feature uh, with your eyes closed without worrying about how to use, for example, interfaces or the syntax, so on and so forth, right? So this is what I mean, uh, knowing a language properly, right? So once you learn a language um, such as Java, for example, or C Sharp or C++ really well, then the rest of the languages will be easy. Because what the other languages have done is they've looked at all of these old languages and they said, okay, what can I do better, right? Or what can we do better to improve those languages? For example, take a look at Go. So Go, for example, it's a very simple language. It strips all of these complexities and makes it for you as an engineer to write code, um, you know, fast, right? And you don't have to worry about all these types and, you know, uh, abstract classes and, you know, classes and all, all these different, different things, right? But if you were to learn, for example, um, Go, right? Or let's say you learn uh, let's let's say JavaScript, right? If you were to learn JavaScript, so if you learn JavaScript, JavaScript is a, is a, is a good language, right? Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't teach you uh, stuff in a proper way, right? Because there are many ways that you can do things with JavaScript, right? And you know, JavaScript it's evolving like never before, right? So what you want to do is pick a language which has been there, you know, for quite some time and then make sure that you master the foundations, you know how to use it, right? And then the rest of the languages will be easy. Trust me, the rest of the languages will be easy to learn, right? You shouldn't be a developer that uh, thinks that, oh, I need to know three languages, right? And then I can um, write code in X, Y, Z, and you know, do all these different things, right? You should be a developer that is able to solve a problem using whatever language needed to solve the actual problem, 
right? For example, Java might not be the best language to solve as every single problem, right? For example, Python, you know, it's really nice language, but if you know Java, then Python, trust me, it's, it's like a piece of cake, right? You wanna be able to move around these languages, right? So uh, Java, Python, Go, um c plus plus right so not not so much c plus plus because you've, you've got uh you know some memory management there but the rest of the languages like javascript ruby uh, swift right all of those languages if you know one language well all of these languages will be easy trust me they will be easy right and you know shift your mind right don't don't don't, don't just be a developer that wants to 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 learn you know these languages to apply for jobs and list them on your cv right be a developer that is able to to pick whatever language is needed sorry the camera just just died in there so i was saying like as an engineer right you want to be able to what well, i was going to say i actually forgot one second thousand years later so as an engineer you want to be able to pick any language you should really be able to pick any language and then learn that language right don't just you know you know shovel a bunch of uh, languages on your CV and then yo I know all of these languages right I've done a bunch of interviews and people say oh I know language X language Y language B and then I go and ask them, what is the difference between language A and Z? What does it offer, right? They say, oh, it's more about the syntax. But apart from the syntax, what does it give you? And often candidates, they, they struggle to answer that question, right? So if there is something that I want you to take from this video is to learn one language, just learn one language, and then the rest will be easy the rest will be easy right you want to be uh, an engineer that solves problems right not an engineer that knows you know 20 languages but you know you just know because you just need to know them because the job spec says xyz right so uh, actually i remember now what i wanted to say right so as a developer, right, when you start your career, oh boy, this is difficult. So as a developer, when you start your career, right, you might start, for example, with C Sharp or actually let me give you another example you might start with javascript right you might you might be employed as a as a front end developer right and then down the line you might start to touch the back end right so now you have to learn you know node for example or java or c sharp or whatever language they use for the back end as well as databases Right? So you need to know how to work with databases. Will it be Postgres, MySQL, uh, Mongo, whatever, right? So when you start, when you start, it's not guaranteed that you will be uh, that developer throughout your career, right? You will always, um, you know, experiment and learn and adapt to situations, right? And this is what makes you uh, a really good developer. So, if there is one thing that you should take from this video is learn one language well, learn one language well, and the rest will be easy. So, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Also, smash the like button and please do tell me what you thought about this video. I want to know your opinions as well. This is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.